In you go. Oh! What, you putting that in a frame? Yeah, of course I'm putting it in a frame. It's a masterpiece. What would you do with it? I'd probably just blue tack it to the fridge door. <sighs> what is it, anyway? Do you mean, what is it? It's Pele, but he's holding a china teacup. Oh, yeah. Actually, it has got something. You see? It's enigmatic. It's like the Mona Lisa, you know? It's the eternal question. Is she a woman? Is she a man? Is she smiling? Isn't she smiling? This throws up similar sort of questions. What questions? Well, it's Pele. He's holding a china cup. That much is clear. But when you come down his leg to the little tippy toe of his boot and you see this, what is that? The ball. But is it the ball? Or is it the saucer for the cup? Oh, yeah, this changes everything. <gasps> I've got to phone Trisha. Amazing! You've got a tank made from Swiss cheese. This tank is not made out of Swiss cheese, it's made out of ordinary cheese. What are those holes, then? Those, my friend, are the injuries of war. I don't expect a civilian punk like you to know the difference. Right then, up ahead, a uh, pencil drawing of Pelle, done in a naive, primitive style. He is holding a china teacup, an obvious slant towards surrealism. But as we all know, you should never take crockery onto the playing field. All in all, though, not a bad little drawing. Wait a second. If I'm not mistaken, the body has been done in free hand, but the head has been traced. The head has not been traced, thank you very much. Tracing? Tracing? As we all know, Mrs Kite, the head of the art department, does not see tracing as real drawing. Therefore, this current dash abomination must be taken as the enemy. Right then, one, two, three, four. These are numbers. Ignore those and fire! <laughs> Pele! Pele, come back, please!